Okay, so let's continue with gradient divergence and curve. So these are special vector operations. Okay, so this is a differential operators, which is actually a vector. Okay, so you have the first partial derivative with respect to x. The operator for the first partial derivative with respect to y. This is for uh, partial derivative with respect to z. The gradient is defined as follows. So this is the symbol. Okay, given the uh, a function that has continuous partial derivatives. So the gradient is uh, obtained by getting okay by getting the the first partial derivatives with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z okay. and then for the divergence that is applying the that product between the operator okay the first partial derivative operators and then vector a so this is actually a vector okay and note that taking the dot uh, the dot product uh, or the, the dot product between these two vectors is obtained by uh, take uh, taking the sum now of the products of the respective components so this is uh, or this expression is is equal to the first partial derivative with respect to x of the x component of a. This is for the y component and then for the z component. So the next one is the curl of vector a. Okay. So that is the cross product. The curl is the cross product. Okay, so you have the uh, components of your uh, differential operator and then the components of A and then the orthogonal unit vectors. Okay, assuming that uh, vector A has continuous first partial derivatives. Okay, so let's have an example inv involving those special operations. So you're given the function phi, okay, and then your vector a with the following components. So we find the following operations, starting with gradient, gradient phi. Okay, so phi is x cubed z squared e to the y. Okay, so we get the first partial derivative with respect to x. So z squared and ey are constant. And then derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. Okay, now for the second term, we differentiate phi with respect to y. So therefore, x cubed and z squared are constant, so we just copy derivative of e to the y is e to the y and for the third component we differentiate with respect to z so x cubed and e to the y okay are constant so just copy derivative of z squared is 2z so this is your grad phi or gradient of phi and then given a what is the uh, divergence okay so that is simply the dot product so we multiply d over dx by x e to the z or a to the x and then d over dy times a y d over dz times a z Okay, so the partial derivative of, okay, 
x e to the z with respect to x. So just copy derivative of x is 1. Okay. And then derivative of uh, x y squared or negative x y squared with respect to y. So negative x is constant. Copy derivative of y squared is 2y. And then with respect to z, 3x squared is constant. Derivative of z is 1. So take note that this is a scalar, a scalar product. So you get a scalar, scalar function. Okay, for the curve. Okay, so that is cross product between the differential operator and uh, vector A. Okay, so you have the first draw the uh, components of the D, oper D operator, so differential operators, and then the components of A. Okay, and then the orthogonal unit vector. So starting here, okay, so positive, delete, delete. Now, uh, product of this is obtained by taking the partial derivative with respect to z. So this is a pure constant. Okay, if we differentiate this with respect to y, x and z are taken as constant. So since this is a pure constant, the derivative will be zero. With respect to z, uh, negative x y squared is a also a pure constant, so the derivative will be zero. So for negative j, okay, negative j, so delete, delete. So the partial derivative of this, okay, with respect to x, okay, so is three z. Then derivative of x squared is two, two x. So you get six x z. And then derivative with respect to z, so x is constant, derivative e to the z is e to the z. Okay. And we have a negative sign here. Now for k, so delete, delete. Then derivative with respect to x, so x is 1, derivative of x is 1. And then you have negative y squared. And then delete delete so negative of the product so take the derivative of this with respect to y but this is a pure constant no y here so the derivative will be zero and then just simplify okay you get okay the cross product of uh, the operator and j